Celebrate yourself. You are very, very important to the kingdom of God. Psalm chapter 8, verse 4. Say, so You are so important and so dear to God that He must visit you every morning to ensure that you wake up. Please celebrate yourself one more time. Let's celebrate to God be the glory by the grace of God, the first lady of Latter House, our mother in Christ. Let's celebrate her. Let's celebrate all the other ministers, all the ministers of Latter House, all the ocean is let's celebrate them, all the workers, let's celebrate them. I want us to celebrate our sister here all the way from Napoli. Remember the entire world of the international. Let's celebrate the minister, all the brothers who and the beautiful wife, all the way from Napoli. And the beautiful world of the nation minister. Let's celebrate the first lady of the Jehovah's Word of God. Let's celebrate her. And to God be the glory, the Father of Him and God, I want to appreciate the covenant brother, the Savior, Pastor of the Jehovah's Word of God, Nation International, Napoli, the same. The God of the Lesson, Apostle, Tony Bullen, the same. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Say, I must be honored. 
God bless you, sir. I want to appreciate our mommy also. God bless you, man. May the peace of the Lord be with you all in the name of Jesus. Daddy, those that have been speaking evil against your ministry, as a result of the anointing that is upon this house today, they shall be disgraced. There shall be disgrace. There shall be disgrace. In the name 
Oh Jesus, I appreciate all the members of this commission, the pastors, the ministers, the choir, the ushers. I say, may God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. The topic of our message today is walking in dominion. Walking in dominion. And I'm taking my test on the book of Ephesians chapter 1. My test. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 19 to 23. Please, I need a good reader that will be with me. Because I only have 15 minutes and I don't want to waste time. If you are there, you can read. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1 from 19 to 23. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 19. Yes, sir. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards who believe according to the working of his mighty power, mm. which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, mm. far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world mm. but also in that which is to come and i put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all amen that is dominion walking in dominion jesus christ has all the powers in heaven and in eight is in charge hallelujah jesus has also given us a portion some portion of this mighty power what is dominion dominion is authority dominion is to rule dominion is to possess to be in charge how many of you is in charge of your life how many of you in charge of your destiny what is the biblical meaning of dominion the biblical meaning of dominion is supreme authority supreme authority no wonder the bible says whatever we burn on this earth is burned in heaven he said whatever we cast on this earth is cast in heaven this authority he said wherever the soul of your feet shall step upon that place you will possess hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. i'm not hearing you amen. amen dominion is to be in control over something or someone to be in charge walking with him gives us assurance when you are walking with God he gives you assurance of this power no one walks for God that is powerless except you are walking for yourself walking for God is different from walking for yourself when you open a church because of stomach infrastructure you are working for your when you open a church because you want to win so from that kingdom of darkness to that kingdom of light then you are working with god and god will be with you hallelujah somebody 
am not hearing your amen. I am not here to put fear in you, but I'm here to let you know today that God has given you authority to be in charge. Wherever you go, the light of God goes with you. Darkness disappears. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Some will say, Pastor, why have I been serving God? I have been walking in the church for many years, yet I do not have this authority. There is an error. I was talking with my minister yesterday. How can somebody say, I am a friend of God, yet I am lacking. Your relationship with God has come out. Are you hearing me? How can you be a friend, a good friend of Tinubu, and yet you are doing it, man? Are you people following me? Can you allow your best friend to be a beggar? Not to talk of the mighty God, the merciful God, the merciful God. When you walk with Him, you will not lack. When you walk with Him, you will possess your possessions. Hallelujah, somebody! Hallelujah, somebody! While Christians are having, they are having problem. And they are not in charge is because their relationship with their master has come on. how can I say I am a minister then I cause discord in the church let me tell you brothers and sisters even though Baba Adeboye is the one that Baptize you, ordain you. If you are not walking right with God, that anointing will die. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter the authority God has given to you, when you are using it contrary against His purpose, that anointing will die. This authority is given for to us to win so. To give strength to those that do not have strength. To give life back to those that is lifeless. What are you using your authority for in the church? What are you using the power that God has given to you? Are you a builder or you are a bulldozer? It's unfortunate because where I'm coming from is too far. I would have loved to do Bible study for today with the 50 minutes. Well, I will give everybody here opportunity. With, let's ask questions. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, what are you using your authority that God has given to you to do? What do you say they take out they do? They use a gossip. Huh? Are you using to gossip? What are you using to do? To do what? So shall it be in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. In the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me. If the spirit of God is upon you. Satan we run away from you it doesn't mean that satan cannot test you the test are not said tested jesus he said get behind me you workers of iniquity get behind me satan is it not today god is going to revive his anointing upon your life i'm not hearing your amen the problem we christians are having Many want to go to heaven. No one want to die. Can you visit heaven when you are still alive? Yeah. Most Christians want to be in the path of receiving. 
receiving receiving you do not want to give how many of you do wake up that this morning how many people have you invited to the church from the beginning of this year how many souls have you tried to win so that they join you to worship your God this is the beginning of using the authority that God has given to you many of you you never bring somebody to church before but people when you don't drive come up for church go past 10 20 and you have not brought any soul before then how can you walk in dominion hallelujah which dominion you want walk on is it for the god that you are against i have been a satan you they walk for hallelujah i know say i know hear him again amen hallelujah amen hallelujah the ministry God gave to me is unchangeable word of God mission. There is no way I will preach without I will not tell you the truth. I preach against myself. If you watch our scripture, you go our Facebook, you will see many times I preach against waiting I they do. Not be my fault. Once I carry my microphone, the spirit of God begin to speak. I begin to speak what he asked me to speak. Whether you are happy or not, it's not my problem. What is my problem is for God to be happy. I'm not preaching for you to be excited. I'm preaching for God to say thank you, my son. Dominion. Yeah. Another year, my again, no. Who do now? This is not better for a more. Hallelujah. of the Lord he said he's upon me and he has anointed me with power and authority anointing attract favor are you hearing me sir when your head is dried of the anointing anywhere you go you will not get favor he said I have anointed his head with and your cup run it over before any man help you before any woman help you the first place where they look now you're here many of you your ear is so dried with hatred many of you your ear the right to put bitterness many of you if God open your eye, when they look your mirror, they paint your face, what you will see is enemy of progress. And yet, I say, I am a child of God. How can I be an enemy of progress? And God will allow me to use his authority that he has given to me. I will use it to destroy others. And destroy yourself. Hallelujah. Do you know the most, the most, the most dangerous aspect of it? A man that has hatred. That hatred is written in your head. You go off with people, they laugh before, and you are looking for a job. They are smiling, they are discussing. But immediately you enter there and say, what do you want? They squeeze face because of the mark upon your head. And another person will go there. Maybe they are quarreling. As he enter the office, they smile. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. What do we do for you? Are you, are you both not the same human being? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The anointing is what gives something supernatural strength and ability to overcome his enemy. Yet, something was anointed. He was a servant of God, and yet he carried his anointing go ashawo quarter. This is what is happening today. Yes, you are anointed. Your anointing, you do take it to where God hates. Places that 
that is an abomination to God. How will that anointing flow? How can you be in charge? How can you walk in dominion? When your best friend is Nathan daughter. How can you walk in dominion? Where you cannot say Jesus is Lord in the presence of your friends. Many of you are there here. Your friends go to condemn Jesus. You can't talk. Your friends go to condemn your pastor. You can't talk. Your reply goes say, nice. So I see him. Yet where they call people out to anoint or bless. Now you will first come out. When a man of God that you are criticizing, that you hate, when he lay hand on you, you are not receiving blessing, you are receiving curses. It is the anointing that you respect, that you like, that will work for you. Hallelujah! Amen! Amen! My brothers, my sisters, I am here today for you and me, all of us, to have sober reflection, to ask God for mercy. We have sinned against Him. Look at the church's county. Because you are not walking enough. You are not walking in love. You don't love yourselves. The Bible says, Where one, two, three is gathered in accord. Accord is one mind. Agreement is where God has out. If you follow me, they do change prayer. And your mind, no, if you don't have prayed till next tomorrow, nothing is happening. We need to change our way. Tell somebody, say, change your way. And possess your possession. It is this same anointing that I'm talking about that enabled David to destroy Goliath. Anointing. It's what assisted David to destroy Goliath. The same authority, dominion that I'm talking about is the same thing that said, See, if I God, have I not? Wait till I get that I go give you. What do you have to give? You cannot give what you don't have. No, if you give person, what do you not get? Now, what do you get? You will give person. If you be liar, now lie, you will give person. If you are a fornicator, you lay a hand on somebody in a fornicating spirit, you give them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, God is calling us to come back. Jesus is calling us to come back. Let's live bitterness behind let's leave hatred behind let's leave bite biting behind and walk with God walk in his dominion walk in his authority if you are God can you give power to a pastor that will always come on top of the altar if you do a bad he said that person will die that person will die do you think God they keep person like that? If you be God, you know take the power from him. If I kill everybody, finish. Eh? Hallelujah. Sir, if you are God, will you not take the power? When somebody you, you just come out. Now me, now they try. And he was your member before. He will see. Father, destroy our God. Say, I'm not going to destroy him. The day I call you, I attach the good, the bad, and the ugly people to you. Your duty is to change their life to become something. Are you hearing me? All your members must not respect you somehow against us. 
Some are against us. But the only thing that makes me happy, sir, you can talk against me in your house. But when you see me face to face, say, God bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know they talk again for here. Somebody talk against you. He could criticize you. And another person was with him when they criticize you. But two other they walk out, they come. They when they saw you. One way be said they criticize you. Now if I say good afternoon, sir. The other one will begin to look. I need to fear this person. Hallelujah. Why should you, man, be bothered against what somebody says against you? Be bothered against what God says. I am here to tell you today everything they are talking about you we turn to testimony in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let me tell you sir what the people say does not matter what God says is what is important in our life today we are going to ask God for mercy because we need this authority we need this power we need to walk in dominion this year the man of God say this year is a year of walking in dominion is it for everybody you walk against dominion you walk in poverty no weapon fashions against me that shall prosper is it for everybody when you are shooting arrow at others you are shooting arrow at others then you can't say no weapon arrow will meet you are you hearing me you they destroy then people they pray for a church then they say back you the back to say that you too they say back to say that where they go to arrow where you shoot they will fall upon you hallelujah church it is time for us to live all for God. It is time for us to surrender all unto God. It is time for us to straighten our relationship with God so that we can be able to walk in His dominion. Hallelujah. I don't care what that person has done to you. You are here, you are thinking, Pastor, how do I forgive this person? Yes. Because you have not be able to forgive this person. This is what is holding your blessings. Because of this spirit of unforgiveness, what God want to do for you is hunting. Don't use another person's mistake to destroy your life. Free them. How many of you is ready to free them today? Oh, now get up. Now they look me. You want me to point some of you here? You are looking at me. You know you are the one I'm talking about. That person, when you say you're not going to forgive, I said, free that person. Me am I going to walk with you Hallelujah. That's all I'm for here. I said, free. Point to your neighbor, say free that person. Go and meet other person, say, my neighbor. Whatever they have done, forgive and free them to enable you walk in the dominion of God. How many of you is ready to do that? Leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. Leave it for God. Don't cry no more. Jesus is alive. Praise God. We can face tomorrow. He understands what you are passing through today. When I say that song, but when I get up, I don't preach finish. Today is not to preach up. So a city to your heart. Hallelujah. We are going to sing that song again. Because before God will do something for some of you today, you need to forgive that person. You might be a pastor, you might be a minister, you might be an usher, you might be an ordinary member. Today is a day 
to free those that we have said that we will not forgive. Are we already? Leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. Leave it for God. Don't cry no more. Jesus is alive. foolish because I want to tap into the blessings of God in the book of Tomine in the book of Deuteronomy Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 the Lord will open for you his good treasure house the heavens to give rain to your land in its season and to bless all the works of your heart and you will lead to many nations Amen. this is dominion hallelujah Amen. this is dominion this year you will not lack it in the name of Jesus Amen. I want us to stand up if you are here truly you want to tap you want to walk in dominion this year according to the revelation that God has given the apostle the father of this house and you see bitterness and there is somebody you want to forgive just come out to pray with you come out 
Hallelujah. There's somebody you want to forgive. Don't be ashamed. When you are ashamed of God, God will be ashamed of you. Hallelujah. She's not the only one. She's not the only one here. Something is telling you not to come at is Satan that is telling you not to come at. You already know that you are the one I'm talking about. Today, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you will, after the prayer, you will take your phone. Until you know how to do selfie. Have you done selfie before? You will do selfie to remember this day. And from today, you begin to count on the blessings of God in your lives. Oh, I'm not hearing your amen. Why do I want you to do selfie? Because not me want to one. The God that way you because of and want forgive that person is about to release something that you yourself do not merit. There are blessings that we do not merit that God is going to give to you people. From 1990 days, there's going to be a testimony. There's going to be a testimony. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. forgive you are ashamed to come out if you don't come out now you cannot operate in the anointing of God for God can allow us to operate in his anointing we must have the spirit of love we must have the spirit of forgiveness how can I call myself a minister a pastor yet there are some church members when they quarrel with are we kidding? You see somebody you laugh like this. <laughs> God bless you. Inside your heart, you hate that person. You are doing yourself. Don't be ashamed. If you pray, once this what they pray, you pray your own for a corner. Jesus will deny you. Because this is the altar of God. This is the altar where angels they meet. This is the altar where the angels of God are residing inside this church. Don't be ashamed. Man of God, please, they are your children. We are going to lead them for God. My father, my maker. This are the ones that have come out humbly. They say they want to drop that bitterness. You know what that person has done against them. Father, as they have forgiven that person, oh Lord, let that spirit of hatred not come back to them. Amen, Jesus. Father, as they have forgiven the person, oh Lord, Come and show your mercy upon their lives. Show your goodness upon their life. Do a new thing in their life. Every delayed blessing, every of your diverted blessing that the enemy has diverted, that the prince of Persia is still holding because of this unforgiveness, they shall be released in the name of Jesus. 
they shall be released in the name of Jesus Father get up sir Holy Spirit Holy Spirit yes yes from now on that power to have dominion let it come upon you let it come upon you in the name of Jesus father touch walk upon him walk upon him walk upon him bring it bring it bring it Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Yes Walk upon us O Lord Come and give him A mighty testimony That these people In this church They will see And they will glorify him Father you are the God that makes Every possibility to be possible She has come to surrender to you. Holy Spirit, give him that mind, that spirit to forgive this person totally. And that which you have promised to do for her, Father, come and do it for her. Whatever spirit that I've been leaving her, that I've been saying, do not forgive this person. Come out. Bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up. Maraba Sanda Katara Masende. Yes. You are free. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Yes, let your anointing flow from my head to our toe. Give our testimony that the people in this church they will celebrate it. Huh? In the name of Jesus, every spirit of lack, I destroy them. Bring up, bring up. Spirit of lack, spirit of lack, set this one free. Set her free. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, touch. Hey, loose. Mark at our abasende. Rega, rega, rega. Loose. Set this one free. Yes. Let the fire of God come upon you. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Spirit, get up, Mr. Man. From today, your glory will shine. Holy Spirit, your words say your light will so shine upon this one that people will see it with their two eyes and give that glory to you, Father. Father, come and do it for him. Do it for him. Do it for him. The anointed to, to prosper. Anointed to prosper. Maraba 
Anointing for financial breakthrough. Let it come upon you. Let it come upon you. Yes, yes, yes. Enough is enough. You go to your father's house. Take a sand from your father's house. Come and drop it in this altar. Let the man of God pray on it. After several days, return back that sand. Back. Everything that has been hindering your breakthrough from your father's house. <laughs> When he brings his hands, sir, allow him. It is not a ritual. Jesus took the sand, he spit on it. Was it a ritual? There are some of you here, the problem where you pass through, not from your papa's house. That is where they bury under the ground. Not until you bring that sand to the altar and the man of God pray on it. After seven days, you return it. You see, break through. My friend, whether you believe me or not, I have experience and I'm still experiencing the anointing for financial breakthrough. I said, Let it come upon you. Let everybody stand up. How many of you brought something to the altar today? That your thing is here. If your team is here, come out, come out. Right? You know, so now give me 15 minutes. My 15 minutes, if guys not take it, it all almost elapse. Hallelujah. Do I still have any minute? I know you they bring your own. You don't already carry anointing. Maybe you will pray for just now. Go for it. Father, in the name of Jesus, these things your daughter has brought now, impart them with your power. Let them walk signs and wonder. Let them walk miracle. As they enter any house, let demons begin to disappear. Hold it. Yes, next. Don't delay me. If they ring back, I they drop mic, they come out. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your impartation enter this. Your power, your fire. Your fire, your power upon this altar. Let it come upon this now. Anywhere she take it to, the light of God, the anointing of God will move in your life. In the name of Jesus, hold it. Marabasanda Rabakata. Kasakatarama. Regegege. Rebebebebe. Marabasanda Rabakoto. Rebabababa. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. Whoever that want to come between you and your husband, I sent that person to hospital. Whatever that person is, I don't care. Don't know. The word of God says, whatever you are joined together, let no one put us under. Whoever that want to put us under your marriage, I sent them to hospital. In the name of Jesus. Anointed to dominate. Anointed to dominate. Those things that have been pursuing you for today, you will see yourself inside them. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, the anointing that is present here today. 
by working in this commission by working also in unchangeable word of god mission in part whatever that is in this boss let your impartation enter now let your power and your fire enter anywhere she carry this battle anywhere take whatever that is inside here the power of god will flow the anointing of god will flow thank you holy spirit take it take it every power from your father and your mother house I want to hold your destiny because your father is working for Jesus. Let that fire of God destroy them. Let that fire of God destroy them. Go, go, go. I stand upon the altar of your father. Every power that want to fight your destiny, your star, your glory, as a result of the work of God your father is doing. I command them be destroyed. <laughs> Sir, do you have all your hair? Come, 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 come. Holy Ghost, dress closer, dress. Father, I want you to do something. From now to 90 days in the life of your daughter, for the people to see, to hear, and to know that the God of this commission is a mighty God. I anoint you in the name of the Father, I anoint you in the name of the Son, I anoint you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Mommy, she's not too old. Anytime she's with you, always pray for her. She will wipe away your tears. Can we clap for Master Jesus? Yes, mercy. Ah, you'll be Taylor. From Taylor, you will become a fashion designer. Get up, get up, get up. Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing, your impartation touch this scissors and this measurement. As she begin to use it, oh Lord, use it to bring more customers. And anyone she uses this so so glad for, let them be blessed so that they will continue to patronize her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somehow. Bring her up. Take it in the name of Jesus. Yes, let that power to dwell in dominion. Power to do exploits. Power to excel. Every tailor where they are you that want to close the store. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, let your power, your power for impartation, let it come upon this thing, oh Lord. That as she go with it, oh Lord. Whenever she use it anywhere this theater, there will be light, favor, blessing. Or clean spirit will begin to run out in the name of Jesus. Bring out. I think she just brought her own. She's not bringing her own. Where you wanna be here? For how many days? I believe her. 
Jesus is first. You will testify here to the goodness of God. Every tears in your life, they are washed away. Anoint you in the name of the Father. They will follow you, follow your children. Power to dominate. Power to do exploit. Come upon her. Fire. 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 Damn it. Massacre. I'm not bringing now. The dead one announce it. I love when I go there, look me. Ah, when they announce it. Okay. When I wait there, yeah. When I bring anything, if now your telephone, raise them up. Everybody get up. Anything you get, raise it up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, let your power, your power upon this altar. Let it impart this. Let it enter this now. Use it. Use it to work miracle, signs, and wonder in our life. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Right at the must prosper you must prosper hey you demon of poverty come out come out be free be free be free be free Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. Th thank you Lord. In Jesus name. Yes. Who oh, have anchor if among you here? Who oh, have anchor if? What are you? I should use your own sir. Okay. You now will carry the power. <laughs> Jesus, power as never before. Come upon Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, you, you know your own. Jesus, yeah. okay. But you are going again. Mass and another. Hold up. In your special way, what might be possible? Me, may possible. Jesus, yes, and another. Fire! Power of God! Jesus! 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 Yes, yes, yes! Jesus! 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 Special way, I 
your people can see something. We don't tell you now. Come and clean the house of God. You the Meshakara. Those are catch if I used to clean here now. He carry power. Oh, I'm not hearing you now. Amen. Mama, when we got a catch if, let me tell you, may not get a catch if. Have I done yours? Hey! Hey! Take it, take it, take it! Let the power of God let it fall upon you. You will begin to walk in your life. You will begin to bring more members into this church. In fact, what God is about to do for you, we win so. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes.
Blessing will become permanent. Holy Spirit, let your power come upon it. Let your power come upon it. Impart it, O Lord. As you begin to use it, use it to reward customers. Those that should use it to serve for the good of the Lord.
son of dove. I believe in you. Yes, let the power go come upon you now. I believe in you. Power Jesus. You. Oh, dominate. I believe in you. I believe in you, Jesus, Son of God. Do I say our time? I believe in you. I believe in you, in you, love. I believe in you. Reggae, 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 
Almighty God nominate. Stretch your hands towards him. The Bible said it that water it must be watered. He has watered. May God water him. May God water him. May God water him. Pray that God will take him from strength to strength. From power to power. Glory to glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. What are we going to say to our daddy? Some of you, I want to bless God for your life that you were still able to tap into this grace. I want you to know that this year, 
we will never make the mistake of bringing people who are not of God to this altar. Whatever is connected to me will never be will never be impure. We both started. I know about him. He knows about me. And I can say it anywhere that the truth is of God. How do you appreciate a man that carries grace? Whatever you know that you can sow, please sow into his life. Whatever you know you can sow, if you have it, go and give it to him and say, Papa, I bless you with this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Man of God, God bless you. Your anointing will never run dry. You will go from strength to strength. You will go from power to power. You will go from grace to grace. Lord, I pray today by the decree of heaven that you will use your son as your mouthpiece unto nations in the name of Jesus. This is one thing I know that you use the foolish things that the world consider foolish to put the wise of the world to foolishness. Lord, thank you for your son. He will not fail you. He will not your kingdom. He will not fail your he will not fail himself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, fire. God bless you, sir. We are sorry that our time has come, but it's worth it. How many of you agree with me that it's worth it? This is our year of dominion, and you cannot dominate without financial liberty and strength. And I strongly believe that God has empowered every one of you, the church, with that financial liberty. I pray that when your testimony will come, you will come back to share the testimony and all glory will be to God. And whatever you have to sing to the love of Papa, please don't hesitate to do that. It's time for us to take our time. Let's rise up on our feet. It's time for us to take our time. If you are saved, you are saved, you are tied, you are paying your bank. Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Whether you are paying your tithe, you are not paying your tithe. It's also a time for us to do something shortly so that we can begin to uh, proceed and round up the service. Our service closed 10 50, 10 55, but today it is worth it. Somebody's boss is here. Your boss. So if you, are, if you have your tithe with you, please, as the choir will be singing to God, I want you to dance out with your tithe. Dance out with your tithe. Choir. Be a follower for the follower on the floor. What's up in your way? Lord, for you and Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God that gives out of the abundance. Please, let's bring it down. Out of the abundance that you are giving to your children, they are brought forth your ten percent. Lord, sanctify them. Use them for the good fortunes of the work, and to put the devil to shame. Watch over your promise consign it tighten and open unto them the windows of blessings of heaven. Rebuke the very spirit in their lap. Cause their financial heavens to overflow. Cause their financial air to flourish. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. I prophesy as God's mouthpiece. 
operating as an apostle in the office of a prophet that the ninety with you will prosper Amen. that ninety will attract profit bountiful profits in the name of jesus thank you other father in jesus name it shall be so amen please be seated where is the director of uh, christian education please all noise should stop we don't want noise now i want us to appreciate god in the life of this young lady let's have the sunday school manual for the very first time in nine years i have trained several people in the office of the director of christian education but she's the only one she just entered there not up to six months she's the only one that has been able to produce for the church by divine inspiration and enablement this is the first edition of lapa sunday school manual who did this who did this who did this so before we launch it, I want every one of you, please rise up on your feet. Make use of your gift. Don't envy no man. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What I don't have. When I see people that have it, I humble myself and I tap it, I grab it. In the kingdom, the heaven, the sky is open. Please make good use of your gift for the upliftment of the assignment of God in your hands in that church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So this is the first official Sunday school manual of Lapa House, the latter power Pentecostal Assembly. I want you to pray for her. Though God is the one that wrote it, the Holy Ghost guided her, using me to guide her, proofread it, and I must tell you, it is loaded and powerful. Please pray for her, that the Almighty God will use her, will strengthen her, we take her from strength to strength, from power to power, from glory to glory, from honor to honor. That in her life, in her endeavors, she will not fail. She will not fall. She will not falter. Father, thank you for your daughter. Thank you for what you have just done for her. Lord, I prophesy upon her by reason of this. Others came, they couldn't do it. They were, they were looking at their own self. How can I do this? But this one, she did it with herself. Without being self-centered. Lord, lay your hands again upon the life of this one. In the Bada Halia. Lord, I pray for her in Jesus' name. That she will go from strength to strength, from power to power. Glory to glory. Those that are envying you now, they have not seen anything. By the time God begins to take you to nations, they will know that it is worth working for God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Please be seated. We want to quickly do something. We are officially launching it. It's very, very cheap. It's the cheapest you can think of. So we want to launch it. If you want to launch it for us, please just come forward and God will bless you. I, will, I myself and the man of God will pray for us. You want to launch it with whatever you are, please come forward. Where is she? Come and bring them forward. Uh, Minister, uh, coordinator of OSHA. Let's bring them. We have just few copies. Everything is not about money, but everything is about grace. I have told you here that grace can disgrace money. Money cannot buy grace. So you want to launch it. Me, I'm one of those that will launch it. So let's have the church account. We are launching it. Me, I'm launching it. You want to launch it. A copy is 1,800. For a copy. And every one of us in this church, we need to have, especially all the ministers, all the workers, members of LAPA, so that before you come on Sunday, you already have what we are going to study. And I also want our house fellowship coordinator, Ma, you are the next. By January 2025, if Jesus starts, I want you to start your own now. Ask fellowship manual. Are you hearing me, Ma? So see me, I will put you through, and uh, the Lord will take the glory in Jesus' name. Where is uh, Minister Bosse? 
yo fumi staoloma linda the kinesis miracle the kinesis mercy by january next year we must have the children's man are we hearing so we are going to beg our children to bear with us this year we are trusting god that by that january would have been in up would have concluded everything of our permanent site so that they will enjoy their own space with a new manual please let it start now our own was with space of three four months and we we're able to do that at this last time we rushed but god took the glory so please you want to be part of it i want you to please come forward i'm already part of it you want to have it come forward you want to be a blessing please come forward is what is worth it is worth it you can buy for people you can share for people it's worth it if there's anything i do i tell people i'm a kingdom investor by the grace of god we have started giving scholarship to people till i rest my last breath i will invest in the kingdom hear me so what you are doing is investing in the kingdom so you want to be part of this blessing you want to launch it for god so that god can launch you out father beyond your imagination i want you to come forward how many how many are always launching it among us every one of us all right so give them just give them uh then if you want to take more copies tell us too if you need more than one copy tell us we'll give you any copy that you want the lord will bless us in the name of jesus why that is happening let us be preparing to receive the ministry of the king son at Bime Day for the faith offering. We no longer have what they call development offering. What we now have is faith offering. Then every last Sunday, we have the welfare offering. So while that is going on, please be giving them as they are launching it, just be giving them. Let's do that quick. Then, if you remember, you want to have a copy because on Sundays you must come with your own. You read it, prepare, load yourself with questions. Thank God, a lot of us we are always here on time. Load yourself with questions. Read it. Read it. Read it. Thank God, our Sunday school is always powerful. We are trusting God. You know, by the time we are printing like one million copies now it will be very cheap but when you are printing lesser copies it will be expensive we will get there in the name of jesus christ with the club offering let's welcome the ministry of taking samson at Bemede. god bless you the ministry of taking samson at Bemede. praise the lord Praise Master G. It's time for faith offering. Let's package our offer, please. If you are packaged before repackage, it is not bad, please. Let's stand up for prayer. Raise your patch up. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the time like this. Thank you for the little thing you gave to us. The token before you. Lord, bless us beyond measure in the name of Jesus. Those that have to give, Lord, bless them. The more next time they come, they will give, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Choir.